A double overtime thriller is all wrapped up here in Moby Arena. I'm Travis Screen along my side is Olivia Landis. Liv, this was crazy game. It started off into regulation. Teal Daniels missed what looked like a wide open layup. Missed that. We go into overtime. James Webb the third makes a buzzer beater, but then they go to the clock, look at it. They started the clock late and they take away the three. We go to double overtime. And then the Rams got things rolling. Run away with a 97-93 win. How did this happen? This was just an absolutely insane game, Travis. Yeah. Like, I mean, the coaches and the players were both saying it in the post-game press conference. Coach Eustace said this was a weird game with a weird environment. He said he wished he would have bought a ticket to the game to watch it because <laughs> He doesn't even know what went on. So, I mean, I think everyone is on the same page that this was just a wild game. You got to feel bad for the fans that left after Jay yeah. Webb's the third, <laughs> after he made that three-pointer. Many fans left because the, on the Jumbotron here, it looked like it was in clearly, but the clock was started late. Um, you got to give credit to Coach Eustachian and how he's coached this team this season. Six players scored double figures today, Antoine Scott with 19 and John Gillen finish was 19. I think John Gillen played a huge role in the team getting a win today. He played great to finish off the game. Yeah, especially in double overtime. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had two wide open layups that he drove to the basket. And, you know, I think Teal Daniels, you got to give him some credit, too, because mm -hmm. he did make those two free throws yeah. right before the game to tie it up. I mean, he did miss that wide open layup, but he did tie the game up to take mm -hmm. the Rams into overtime. And that's well. something we've seen Teal struggle with in his coll collegiate career, and he's gotten a lot better this year, and yeah. he did it in clutch time. Teal Daniels did finish with a double-double. Mm -hmm. Rams pick up the win. They're now 14-10 and 10 this season, and they get over the 500 hump, 6-5 and five in the Mountain West. Liv, this is crazy. The Rams might actually make a run at one of the top two seeds in the Mountain West. Yeah, I think it them beating this number three ranked team in the Mountain West Conference, that is, I think this really gave them that push. I think this is going to help them in the long run. Coach Eustace said this was a big game for the guys. This really was. Huge win for the Rams. That'll do it for us here at Moby Arena. If you want more updates, go to collegian.com and click on that sports tab.